Good morning vlog. Good morning from the truck. We are on our way to look at some roofing material. We're picking out the color of metal for our roof. So I thought it'd be fun to share. <laughs> and I'm just gonna vlog today. Um, it's Monday, seems like it's gonna be a good day. My dad's still in town and um, we're picking up a new friend who's gonna come help us work on the barn as well. So that's great. Um, but yeah, so welcome to the vloggy vlog. Any words of wisdom from the sage? Happy Monday. Happy Monday in the cornfields in the back. Yeah. Doesn't get more country than that. <laughs> But uh, when I read Ida Mae Gaskin's book, I was like, oh my gosh, can you imagine how great it would be for my midwives to be the farm midwives? Like, oh, that would be a fantasy world. And they are. So we come here for um, our prenatal appointments, and it's really great. And they're awesome at what they do. So, And they're not far from our house, which is just amazing how it all works out found our dream property and then the farm happened to be nearby. I am back home. I just crushed some eggs mm, with hot sauce. Hot sauce has been a friend of mine during pregnancy. Maybe I already told you guys that. Um, the kitchen is a disaster, like absolute disaster. I need to clean that. I'm getting up the, the gumption to do it. Uh, I always, every time I regret, I regret it when I don't unload the dishwasher, uh, like first thing, because then like the breakfast dishes pile up on top of all the other things to unload. If there's like dishes left in the sink from the night before, like it just all piles up and it, it just irks me. So I, uh, we kind of rush out the door to go to the metal store and now there's like a massive pile of dishes and, and that's okay. That's okay. I'm really looking forward to having our kitchen and our barn because this dishwasher barely works. Like it really doesn't work at all. I usually have to uh, rewash <laughs> like most of the dishes uh, before I can put them away because they all come out pretty dirty. So it's just a bit of an annoying thing that happens every day, but I'm just, you know, it's okay. Uh, and I like try to pre-wash them too, but it's it's a very old dishwasher that really doesn't work too well. So that's okay. Um, there's my complaining for the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then I need to do some stuff on the computer for Sage. And then I might go to the job site, just see how they're doing. Um, we have 
my dad working there. And then uh, we have two guys that we've been able to hire, um, which is great. So there's four of them there today, which is super exciting because time is definitely ticking. And if we want to be able to be there by before baby comes, we really need to get going. It's just, Sage has, yeah, been working on it by himself and it's so hard to do it like by himself. You can only do so much so fast. So they're getting the roof on. Um, they're hoping to have that done by the time we go to Washington because we're going on a little trip to Washington, which I'm so excited about. Um, but a bit of a crunch time for sure. A bit of a crunch time. Um, let me show you all you can't really see but bump is definitely getting bigger baby is getting bigger i'm 22 weeks this week and the kicks are like strong and i can see them on like the outside of my stomach which is crazy and um yeah it's like so exciting look at this disaster oh my virgo my virgo heart my virgo rising is just really it's, it's like a nightmare but hey that is what good focus work is for. We're gonna just clean this all up and it's gonna look so much better. And I'll show you the after. <laughs> Ta-da! Clean! Oh. <laughs> I had to rewash pretty much the entire load from the dishwasher, so that was, that was a journey. Hot tip for the, the homemakers, mamas, wifeys, just anybody, uh, is to put on an apron when you're doing work around the house. And that maybe seems silly or old fashioned or whatever, but it really motivates me. Like I, I just enjoy it more and it just feels more like put together. Like, I don't know if you've heard, um, I saw this thing on Instagram. Like if you wear your athletic shoes in the house, you're going to get way more done, which we don't wear shoes in the house, but it's just this like mindset thing of, you know, if I have my apron on, I know I'm doing some work. Also, my clothes won't get dirty and I just feel way more in the cleaning mode or in the baking mode or cooking mode or whatever it is. So um, this apron is super cute. I think I got it on Etsy and I someone's asking me about it. I haven't been able to find the shop again, but the Ballerina Farm, if, if you all follow her on Instagram, they have a Ballerina Farm apron that looks pretty much exactly like this. So. If you're interested, you can get it from her, I think. It's just so cute and very feminine, and the bump looks so cute. So, um, since I have my apron on, I'm, you know, motivated to keep cleaning. It's very dark in here because it's about to rain. But anyway, um, I've been putting off my maiden. <laughs> if you haven't watched that on video, my maiden has been putting off cleaning out the vacuum because it always gets clogged very quickly with hair from Henry and litter and all that. So I need to take it apart and like clean it out and then the house desperately needs to be vacuumed. So I'm gonna do that right now. Just get this house a little more in order. Um, maybe cut up some fruit. The guys from on the job site will be coming over here for lunch. So have some stuff ready for them. And then, yeah, that's, that's the day, the morning, but look at this. Beautiful robe. Just love it. It's so cute. It's like very, just so feminine. I love it. This is one of the things I love about living in the South so much. By the summer, summer storms. I love lightning, I love thunder. And just rain, it comes down so fast. It's just like a monsoon and then it goes away within like 40 minutes. And then there's sunshine. There's always sunshine in the day and clear skies and sometimes rain too. But I love how there's just both. It's such a great energy to me having this like, just influx of rain, rain, rain. I love the water. <sighs> I just imagine sitting in our our house, our actual house. There's big windows in the living room and dining room and we can just sit with our coffee and look out over the hill as the storms roll in and the rain comes down. My 
I'm so excited. Ah. Going to make some chai for this rainy morning. This is the decaf chai that I like. Um, you can order it online, super easy. And then Sage has the, the caffeinated one, which is really, really good. <laughs> if you're having caffeine right now, I would definitely recommend this one, the star anise. It's like super, super yummy. Um, let's see, I'm gonna make some chai. I've got some local honey. And then some shilajit, which if you are into health, <laughs> And wellness um, or just feel like you're lacking minerals which pretty much I would say most of us could use some more minerals um, Shila G is a great option for you it has it's a naturally occurring resin and from the earth and it has I think over 84 different minerals in it and you just it's like a tarry here I'll open it and show you so it's a tar like resin um, and you just scoop the littlest bit in this little scooper and you can have it raw by itself but it makes me gag <laughs> i think if i wasn't pregnant i could do it but it made me almost throw up when i did it raw so i just put a little bit in with my chai or tea and you can barely taste it it just tastes kind of earthy so yeah i've i've heard from a few holistic pregnant mamas um that they love this as well which i'm finding it's really supportive i feel like once I got my minerals down, I started feeling a lot better. And then also during breastfeeding, um, this can be helpful too. Of course, you know, I'm not an expert. Consult your, your healthcare professionals, but uh, I really like this. This is what it looks like when you scoop it out. And then I just pour the hot water over it to mix it in. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed I can feel it I'm starting lunch now I'm gonna make a little I'll just show you I'm making a little like veggie skillet I don't really know even what you would call it but I'm gonna put some chicken sausage in ours and then my dad doesn't eat meat so I'm adding he likes this corn fake meat stuff um, so yeah, I'm just going to do potatoes, onions, peppers, and the sausages. Um, I really need to go to the store tomorrow and get some bread because <laughs> we've just been liking doing burgers or sandwiches for lunch since it's easier and quicker because they're on the job site, but we're all out of bread. So I thought I would just throw this together. It's so pretty and cozy. Just added salt, pepper, some garlic powder, and oh, let's wrap it. This herbs of Italy it has thyme, basil, black pepper, garlic, tarragon, red bell pepper, chives. when this guy's so comfy but I need to get up also I have one slipper on because I uh, have an ingrown toenail which is fun um, so I'm gonna soak that in some apple cider vinegar and warm water because it's super irritated so I had some um, uh, neosporin on it blue's like stop talking lady I'm trying to nap ta-da <laughs> Very glam. Uh, 
feels really good actually. It feels really, really good. I wanted to share a little update of the barn progress and I'll go over there later and get some video also just to show you. But yeah, we should be finishing the roof in the next like week and a half before we go. And then once that's in, then we can dry it in so we can actually like, you know, get the exterior um, wood on, <laughs> get finish the exterior walls and get in the sheetrock and like, you know, dry it in. So it's actually insulated and um, which is really big. Like once that's done, then we're just cruising. Like we, then we get the appliances and obviously the windows need to go in as part of the drying process. But um, I've been ordering, we went to a tile store the other day, which was super fun. Just look at tiles and I've been ordering quite a few different samples for the bathroom because um, I've been a little stumped uh, as to what way to go. But I think we're probably gonna go with terracotta style tiles on the ground the floor um because we both want like a natural stone type of texture like we don't want anything shiny or smooth I want it to feel like real kind of earthy um and warm tones earthy tones and the bathtub I'm like basing everything off the bathtub the bathtub's cream colored on the outside and the bathroom just going to be very like warm and creamy and relaxing um and I'm probably going to have some wallpaper that'll tie in with the terracotta type of color I'm not sure I was leaning towards like a yellowy orangey pattern but we'll see ideally we'll be in there at least a month before her baby comes but um the idea is we'll move in in October even if it's not done and we'll just like work on it while we're living there and then it'll be done done like for sure um before baby comes so it's really interesting I mean like I shared on Instagram, I definitely wouldn't have planned it this way because uh, it's a little stressful, very stressful, especially on Sage. He's like just under so much pressure. Um, so I wish that this time could be a little more easeful and we could just kind of enjoy like baby coming and not have such a big project going on. But it's perfect. You know, this is the way that it is. And so this is perfect. It's still really beautiful and very exciting. So we're gonna, I'm just keep thinking about d January and we're in the new house and it's all done and it's cozy and we're there with baby, little newborn baby, just enjoying. I'm so excited for that. Like stress is gone. Hopefully we're just enjoying and super present and I will actually live on our property. We've been here like Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August. We've been here six months and, and don't live on our property. So I'm just so excited to actually be there, wake up there, just walk around there every day, all, all day. So yeah, it's, um, it's definitely, it's a very rewarding lifestyle, I think, doing this. But it's also um, challenging, you know, you, you uh, sacrifice a lot of comforts that I think you don't necessarily realize. So these are the vibes. Um, this is not what it's gonna look like. It's just a vibe, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Um, we're gonna do sage green cabinets. I'm so excited to show you guys this. It feels so exciting. Um, sage green cabinets, then I wanna have like uh, probably shiplap or I don't know, Sage said it's not technically called shiplap, but I wanna have wood over the counter. So um, the side of the stove, I want it to be exposed shelving with wood and like really pretty fixtures, light fixtures. And um, this green I think is so pretty from Ecos. And um, some little backsplash tile behind the stove, which I'm not quite sure, but I think this one is nice. It's still kind of neutral, but it has the green in it. And then this is my freaking dream stove. It is so stunning. And honestly, we could just move it with us into the bigger house when we go eventually in like three or four years it's so beautiful um it's quite expensive as you can see so we'll see if I can actually get it and then I'm like cheaper options not cute they're in 1300 range <laughs> so we'll see but it's beautiful and I would be so excited and I have um like some faucets picked out that I like I think this brass is so gorgeous and then I was looking for some like vintage glass green light fixtures. I think that would look really cool in there. 
um because also my couch from <laughs> my austin apartment brief stint there uh it's this color it's dark green so i think it'd be nice to tie that in too and then the bedroom is going to be like blue and cream color um in terms of like wallpaper um probably something like this on the wall where the window is because that's just i've just I'm seen it that way um and we'll wake up and be able to look out that window and have this pretty wallpaper and then the rest will be all like cream neutral color um, with some more shiplap behind the bed some pretty fixtures and then i'm going to reupholster the our headboard in some way i'm not quite sure yet and then bathroom like i said it's gonna be warm colors i might not do yellow anymore since we're doing terracotta we'll see once i get the fixtures in this is or the the tile in. this is just an example of how i want the fixtures to be on other either side of the mirror i don't necessarily want that vibe it's just an example <laughs> and then some wallpaper options i looked at originally we'll see i don't i'm not like super loving any of these at the moment this one's okay um and then some faucets let's see what i have yeah like that faucet it's pretty we got our sink for 20 bucks on facebook marketplace so i'm feeling good about that <laughs> so i can allocate more funds for the faucet and then um these are the faucets for the shower the uh closet tub and um shower so beautiful and so expensive <laughs> Ah, but it's just is what it is. We got the tub for a pretty good deal. Um, you can't really find this style for less than you know, this is like the price, best price I've been able to find. So that's just what we're working with. And this is like more vibe inspo. I just love these both. Obviously, they're pretty different, but you can kind of see a similar, similar vibe. Um, and yeah, a lot of built in storage. And then living room, most of the paint in the main room will be creamy color. I might do um, like a lime wash. And then these pendants, if anybody is looking for lights, these are the most gorgeous. They have the most gorgeous selection of lights at this place, Lingard. That's uh, an English company, but they ship to the US. They're just so beautiful. Like so many cute options, so fun. I love them all, I love this blue. I might do one of those in the bedroom. Um, yeah, so check it out. Highly recommend that company. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> building your own house is so expensive. It's really crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> So nice to be outside. The weather is glorious. There's a cool breeze. It's not very humid. Mm. I'm gonna go to the property, see how the fellas are doing. thinking about that if it would be good though to have a single wall how gorgeous is this oh my goodness uh oh, tennessee you're so stunning whoa <laughs> you're stunning too babe got a popsicle we're gonna go 
little last minute run to Home Depot. Just had dinner. No one really cares at all. There's hope in the wind. I feel it on my skin. And the sun is warming the cold way. And there I suffer. We are gonna go to bed. Uh, it's like nine o'clock, which is our bedtime. <laughs> Every night I get so tired. And Sage is too from working so hard. Baby's kicking up a storm right now. Really? Wow. Strong. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Very just day in the life, nothing to exciting I suppose but I hope you enjoyed and um, I'll see you very soon bye thanks for watching mm -hmm.